temporal mandibular kind of space around the letter G, and then even more for the vowel. Okay. Yeah. So the cool thing about this measurement is that it reminds us that we have we have a, a buffer of resonance here as well. It's not only here, but we can choose it. We can choose it for this part of the resonator as well. to go for that is a little bit of that, I know that I have a pop a little bit in, in there somewhere, but we talked um, about finding the path, mm -hmm. finding a physical path where that isn't as much of an issue. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's keep up the expectation of okay, until we find that path reliably. <laughs> Instead of paying attention to everything, 
we, we can know that we're just trying to fix that one point in time. Mm -hmm. greater resonance in your tone. Hey, 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 hey. support, right, this word. In a way, I think making sure that you've got that kind of accountability at the level of your diaphragm for recontracting and re-engaging, instead of just, we sing and it releases, right. that we can kind of, even if our ribs are getting smaller, we can kind of recommit to that flat, though smaller in diameter. Radius. Does that make some mm -hmm. sense? Mm -hmm. So this is a knowing that you've got that hooked up as you're singing is maybe the one thing that you need to make sure is in place before you go perform your whatever. Okay. Is finding that one thing. <laughs> of the mm -hmm. vocal folds. So you should, our goal is to have a sense of slow, lopey vibrato. We need to have that tactile sense of contact at the level of the vocal folds in order for this trick to even function. Mm -hmm. <laughs> time 
it had it matched the rest of the scale. Right. Whereas before it kind of went A, hey, up. Scale. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Especially here. Ah. 